Excellent. Welcome, uh, everybody, to this Microsoft 365 feature demo show, or whatever ever we call the show. doesn't really matter that much. My name is Vesa Yuvonen. I'm a Principal Product Manager in Microsoft. And with me this time is Jackie uh, uh, from, the, uh, from the SharePoint Pages team. So Jackie, can you do a quick intro to who you are and what is your role in Microsoft? Sure. Uh, thanks, Vesa, for having me here. So my name is Jackie, a Product Manager on SharePoint Science and Pages team. Over the past years, I have been working on Compiling SharePoint for page creations and RTE web power skills like Compose and Rewrite with AI. So I'm really excited you know, to be here to dive deeper uh, into the features and showcase this through some demos. Yeah, I, I think you mentioned a lot of interesting stuff there. The co-pilot creating pages and sites and everything else is like, wow. wow. So AI is actually helping us now to create the content, which is really, really cool. But for anybody who's, we'll, we'll do the live demo, but what does that mean actually in practice? How does the co-pilot help us to be more efficient when we're creating pages? That, that's a really good question. Uh, when we think about SharePoint pages, actually it's a multi-model output, including different elements, uh, for example, text, you know, the images, the layouts, the web parts, and designs, etc. There's a very comple uh, complex output uh, for that. So in order to tackle that issues, uh, in the beginning, our philosophy is de to divide and conquer. Uh, just think about the text augmentations with a leverage existing documents. So we can um, streamline the page creations without users to rewrite the content from scratch again. Uh, yeah. Also, Copilot will provide image suggestions through content keywords. The last but not least, we leverage the professional designers curated templates and design ideas to enhance the features. So it's easy, easier and quicker to have the compiler to create the page, uh, which is appealing and engaging uh, than ever before. That's actually a really, really cool point. And, and I'm going to just kind of uh, explain a recap. We use professional designers language and designs for Copilot. So we basically train the Copilot based on the professional designers output. Is that correct? That's right, yeah, because so far, uh, the LLM is very good at those text augmentations, but that's yeah. not really good, you know, for the designer outputs to have a, a right colors, the themes, and the layout, those kind of things. So we kind of, you know, have the hybrid approach to have the best of the text augmentations and use the text augmentation from the human words uh, combined yeah. together. Really, really cool. I, th I think the easiest way to understand this in practice is, is actually to see this live. And, and you have prepared a demo on that one. So let's actually jump on, on that view and let's have a look on how this works in practice. Yes, uh, let's dive, uh, dive into it. So this is a Word document. Imagine probably you need uh, to turn that into SharePoint pages. So this is published by Microsoft uh, a couple years ago. Uh, this is from our um, the, the president, the brand smith. Uh, to talk about the new product offerings uh, to address the cli climate change. So in the documents, you will have a, uh, offerings. Uh, why we should have that kind of tools? And, and also talk about the ecosystem. So imagine now you want to turn that into an internal board of communications and Kovada can help you to, to save you time to create the pages for you. So let's dive into the demos. So from any SharePoint sites, uh, when, once you click the plus new menu items, uh, you will see the create page with compiler options. So this is the entry points. From the entry point, there are two options uh, for you to create the pages. So at the top, there's a prompt input box. This is uh, for open prompt. If you are clear on what you are going to create, uh, or you want to leverage the compiler to create creativities to provide you some suggestions for the sections, this is the perfect place to go. Or uh, you can uh, select different templates. We have newsletter, we have events, status, updates, and training, and so on. And we're getting more templates um, uh, for those at the uh, button center uh, to get started. So this is a quick approach for that. Let's select one of them. So what you see here is a Matlab style prompt box. So the basic concept here is we try to minimize the prompt needed from the users to create the pages. So we kind of summarize the template into a um, template into a prompt, and then over customized section, uh, customizable sections for users to select. Of course, you can select the files. Okay, this is the file I just uh, show you. 
So the first file you attach will be the main source for your page content, but you can also add other files. For example, this is climate change. Additional files will, uh, will, will, will be become a supporting documents. So now you have two files. That, uh, then you don't need to um, modify the subjects. Uh, we can say, I want to change the latest new sections into a product announcement. I have to say that I, I, I love the fact that we're basically simplifying the prompting for end users because not everybody not everybody can be prompt engineers. That's just impossible. So we're making this super easy for end users to actually just adjust those keywords. That's right. And uh, if you look at uh, what I just type, you know, uh, understand climate changes. So Copilot would be smart enough to, to understand, oh, this is from the attached second documents to use that to populate the content. And you probably also noticed uh, I specify the output. I want the output in the table format. So this is also can be done. And then uh, we, we can change that to, for example, this is a digital tools and maybe some ecosystem. And then you are all set. Uh, of course, just like the traditional or compiler features, you can select uh, the tones and the, the lens for that. And uh, please also note, by default, this is created as a private drive. Uh, to avoid the oversharing features, then we are good to go. So once you click uh, the create, the compiler will start hand over those documents to the LLM to, to process. So they read through the documents and, and prepare the content for us. Then you just sit there and wait in the page to be created. It's actually uh, the, really cool. So sorry, check it. Please continue. Yeah, yeah no worries. So the process, the process uh, you, you will notice that we are using the progressive rendering to create the page for you. So you don't need to wait for the whole page is ready. Uh, either you create a line by line uh, to produce the content for you. Uh, not only text, but also images. Probably the image, um, it's based on the keyword to set the images for you, but you can also change the latest. And we also support different web parts. Uh, for, uh, for example, from the documents, uh, it already set a quote from the breast maze uh, president. And just like I mentioned, I specify the output to table format. So as you can see here, uh, it's, you know, turn that uh, PowerPoint documents and uh, extract the key concepts and I'll put in the table format for that. That's really impressive. And it's actually nice to see it live actually doing that as a progressive program. You can see what's actually happening in a page uh, rather than being like working on it message and then waiting in the page to get uh, completed. So. Yes. Yeah. So so the beauty uh, of the template approach is that the template is created by our professional designers and we have, um, you know, dozens to come. So it will be very easy for users to select, you know, whatever the template they need to, uh, yeah. uh, to create the pages very easy for that. Yeah. So, yes. So actually let's recap. So as we selected the news template, it will use that template as the location where it will then draw the content from the Word document and from the PowerPoint. Yes. Uh, so, so far for the current version, we only suppose the text and image first. Uh, you will see there's a collaborators here, so that's a people web powers. Uh, our common enhancement is pretty good. So we'll also add the people web powers, the file links, and even the media recording uh, web parts uh, for the users uh, very quickly. So you can expect the update very soon. And yeah. then, uh, of course, you can select you want to keep it or discard it. It's a very uh, formal form of that. But this is not done uh, because we understand the page creation is no way to be perfect, you know, using a one shot approach. So you can continue to iterate the content to do other copilot features. Uh, we have RTE copilot uh, features. For example, you can auto rewrite or if you want to make it shorter, uh, you can use prompt to change that. Uh, again, uh, for current version, it only support auto rewrite, but our coming enhancement uh, is pretty soon. Um, we will allow you to compose and rewrite uh, using the um, compilers for that. Yeah. And this is the text augmentation. What about the visuals? Again, uh, you can use the design ideas. So for design ideas, uh, we offer lots of different options, again, from our um, uh, professional designers. And you can select the different design ideas uh, for your text text contents for that. Okay, uh, for again, for example, for those 
you can select whatever you like. Maybe I like this design. You select that. Close okay. it. So you can see from a Word document to a SharePoint pages. It's that easy. So this is a very quick demo uh, through the template flow. Now uh, let's uh, turn to the free prompt row again. Uh, we can see the different uh, approaches to create the pages. So the free prompt here is a little bit different because it offers the flexibility for you to customize the sections. Um, you can, again, uh, attach the same document. That's a very interesting um, um, thing to know is that behind the compiler or under the hood, actually it's powered by enterprise search. So even you don't um, attach your documents, you can simply put your project name here, then it'll create the page for you. And uh, we heard from our previous customers, they mentioned about they need the high fidelity mapping. So in order to do that, you simply just put use exact same sections and words. So it provides a high fidelity mapping for you. Uh, of course, you can you know specify the sections you need. Uh, let me create the page first and, and talk about the high fidelity. So for the high fidelity mapping means, uh, because we, we heard those from those customers, it's often the case they start um, using the Word document first because with Word document, they can review the contents, they can, uh, they can you know, go through the approval process. Once the document is approved, they don't want the content to be modified or rewrite. So for that case, they need the high fidelity mapping. And uh, just use the, the prompt and in the future, we'll, supply, uh, we'll provide a toggle for user to just select the precise mode and then it's all set for the users. So this is uh, the output for the hypothetical content is exactly the same from the Word documents. That's actually really good. So you don't actually, you like you said, you get the content from the Word document in the format of, uh, uh, but in the format of the layout. So it takes the, form, the document as it is and then lays that to the format of the layout. That's right. Really good. That's right. Because it's so not that we always want to have the AI to, to do go a generate. Yeah. That's right. That's right. So when, when you, you know, use uh, uh, the SharePoint pages for board communication, you want to make it, you know, more engaging, uh, more appealing, uh, you know, beautiful images. So this is why we use the SharePoint pages. Uh, I probably, we don't need to go through the, the whole content generation. I can stop here, but uh, just like I mentioned, uh, you can customize the, the, the layouts again, using the compiler, um, the rewrite features, or use a design idea to change the, the, the visual and enhance, enhance it. So there are different options here. Uh, you can select whatever you like and just, you know, just put it here, change that. Okay. Next so perfect. This, this is a very quick demo, you know, to show you how you can use the template or use the open prompt to create a page through compiling SharePoint. Really, really cool. This is, I've, I've, so again, just to reiterate, I love the fact that uh, you don't have to be a prompt engineer to be able to efficiently use this feature. That That's like spot on. I love the, the selection of things because it's not that we can assume that every single end user is a prompt engineer because they're not. Uh, and then that's actually a really nice tip on that you're able to get the content as it is. Super important thing, uh, like you said from customers, that if you review, approve the content in a Word document, you don't want AI to go crazy and start adjusting that. So really good tip. Now, this feature has been in preview uh, with our customers worldwide, uh, private preview, not publicly available, but for certain customers for a while. Um, what, are, what are those customers saying and, and what's, what's in the roadmap? Yeah, I think the, uh, probably they love the time save, you know, from the compiling SharePoint. They mentioned about in the past, you know, probably they need to spend hours to create the pages. But with the compiling SharePoint, you know, even if it's not perfect, it already saved them two to three hours of time. So that's very encouraging. So we are continuing to roll out to the productions. So we'll have more and more people start to using that. Uh, of course, there are also uh, suggestions in the area for improvements. Uh, the top thing uh, we heard from 
customers they mentioned about they want broader uh, the data data sources. For example, so far we have Word, we have PowerPoint, we have Loop and PDF support. Uh, they are expecting more, uh, so we are adding the meeting support into that. So imagine you can turn a meeting into a training document or leadership communication, the status update, that will be very exciting, right? Uh, we'll also support the videos and the planner uh, for that. So expand the, um, the, the data source. This is our first uh, priority for that. And the yep. second one, uh, customers talk about they want the flexibility to customize the page creation process. So far, it's a one-shot approach. So you have you know some uh, settings, and then you create the page. So we are kind of creating um, PowerPoint narrative builder similar features. We call it page builders. So before the page is physically created, you will see you know the different sections. You can reorder, reorder them uh, to add their add a new sections, remove sections, yep. and then create the, the content for that. And the third but not the least, the customer asks for the the customer template support and create from existing pages. So they are, uh, the, this is the most important um, part because this we need to follow the enterprise standards, you know, to leverage the current uh, existing access for that. And the last but not the least is the compiler uh, for RTE enhancements, just like I mentioned, compose and rewrite uh, with the prompts and uh, reference documents for that. So there's a lots of exciting features to come uh, we will show that probably in the very near future of time. Yeah, uh, just to clarify, also, RTE means the rich text editor. Um, so the one which you actually showed in the live That's demo nice. as well, really cool on that. Um, I, I love the, the meeting thing uh, because there's uh, if there's a one thing which is super cool in the Copilot is the meeting notes. And now if we can then after the meeting, get the meeting notes and the summary of the meetings and decisions and the video, Auto generated or with the click of a button uh, as a SharePoint page, which we can then easily share within the company. I uh, say, hey, we had a meeting on blah blah blah, and this one the decisions, uh, letting everybody know as a news article. That's like, that's really cool. That's super beneficial. I can see so many use cases on that one. Yeah, the people will see that live demo from the MCZ5 conference. Oh, that's actually a good, good reminder. Now, uh, for anybody who's watching this on time for the Microsoft 365 Community Conference, that's happening in May in Las Vegas, 2025, um, and we'll show more stuff in there. Um, that, that was already a kind of a promise that we'll show that the live teaser on the on the meeting notes and all of that stuff. Uh, and and looking forward on seeing a lot of our customers and partners there. We we'll, we will have. More than I think, more 200 Microsoft people uh, as a presenters there, and a lot of lot of content uh, which n has never been seen before, yeah, including Copilot. Like you and me will be there, <laughs> and that's a good point as well. Yes, that is true. We both you and me will be there as well for answering any questions uh, on Copilot pages, sites, uh, extensibility, whatever it comes to your mind. We are there for you. That's why we have this conference so that people can come to us and ask questions on anything. What they're, what they're using on a day-to-day -day basis. But that was really, really cool. Thank you, Jackie, on, on um, having the, taken the time um, and, and explaining the latest features and also the future investments on this. I'm super excited on this stuff. Yeah, thank you for having me. All right, thank you. Thanks, thanks everybody, for joining and watching. And uh, we'll come up with a new video sooner or later. Cheers, everybody.